Sir, I am teaching since last ten years. Okay. I mean, I like almost every day I get a get this query. It's students coming to me and they ask that what career I should choose. Or they're like very much confused. So I give them information, but I feel like that I'm not doing justice uh, as I should give them proper information. So I really want to structure it. I want to formalize it and give them proper structured information. So what do you think I should do? Actually, this is a very interesting question. Teachers want to do career guidance, and how do you actually become a Formally recognized career counselor is a question that you've had. And very fair question. So uh, we have been getting these requests last few years, and I think five six years back we have launched this you know, partnership in partnership with Pearson. We have launched this career counseling certification. It's called Pearson Career Counseling Certification. Since we are already partnered with Pearson to offer MCMF uh, career assessment, so the psychometric assessment for career choice, we work with Pearson, and Pearson is our partner. So what we have jointly come up with is we have come up with a career counseling certification based on MCMF, which helps teachers and uh, trainers to become formally recognized, uh, certified career counselors. And there is a simple process to do that, where we formally uh, give training to the uh, teachers and trainers, where you can actually become uh, trained counselors in this space. Predominantly, we teach them on you know career counseling tips, information that is required for guiding. Students and also tools, especially career assessment tools that are required for career guidance. We give them all that, and finally, we also give a lot of resources and material for teachers to guide uh, students. See, one of the problems you would face as a teacher is many of them will come and ask careers that you're not familiar with. So, one of the objectives of this certification is to train you on these topics and competitive exams required for uh, various careers. For example. People want to look at career in law, and you may be in engineering and science. You may not look at law series. So we kind of give information that is required for career in law. Similarly, uh, people will come and ask career in aviation. If you want to become a commercial pilot, what should you do? So you come with uh, you know a lot of queries from students which have varied domain uh, you know knowledge. So we give a lot of resources to the teachers so that you are well prepared to answer these queries. And our career counseling certification does pre-assessment and post-assessment after the training. Then we actually give a certificate to uh, trainers or teachers in partnership with Pearson, and we are happy that we partnered with Pearson because Pearson has a great reputation in this space, and we are very happy to get their support to do this career counseling certification. And we have seen the response has been very good from teachers and trainers. Okay, okay, sir, so I got this. Uh, but but in terms of money, how do you think like is it going is it going to increase my earning potential? Yeah, definitely. So today, if you look at uh, training and career counseling as a space, right, there's a growing demand for career counselors. A lot of schools today are hiring counselors who are trained in career counseling. So there's a lot of demand for counselors going uh, high. And similarly, a lot of training, uh, you know, activities that happen in colleges and schools require, you know. Uh, teachers and trainers to be more career oriented because all the training is required for every student to get a very good career or very good job in the long term and if you are understanding how a student should be guided at micro level what is student's interest what is student's personality your career guidance or training can be more effective whereas today most of the training that happens is one to many you have a class of 60 and 60 of them have 60 ideas but you train them in one class with one slide and one presentation and whereas when you actually look at career counseling it's all personalized each student will have different career choice and different interest how do you guide them so as a trainer you get a lot of insights to do training when you actually do career counseling because you understand individual aspirations so when you talk to students you can guide them well you can prepare them towards facing the you know complex world of today with you know complexities in terms of job loss sometimes sometimes you know they also go through Salary hikes, which is very good. So the, the point is, how do you train these counselors and how do you train the trainers to train the students well? Is the goal of this, you know, Pearson Career Counseling Certification. But when just well, I asked question. So uh, uh, is it important for me to be a teacher or in the education space or someone out of this space also can be a career counselor? Absolutely. Many of them uh, we have seen in our own experience they have come from the industry or HR professional background, at which they were, you know, working in the industry. They are not from the academic background, 
but if they have an industry background that becomes even more advantageous because it will help them to actually guide students better so we have some people from the finance industry banking industry insurance industry who have come to the career guidance space because they understand different careers better and they can guide the students very well so the experience of the you know trainer or the career counselor matters a lot it's very useful you need not be from an academic background if you are from not non academic background it will be even more advantage because you can actually guide students because you worked in the industry and you saw the career by yourself so you can guide them definitely better if you are from a non academic background and all that you need to do is passion for counseling and passion for guidance the children should be guided properly and uh, you should actually give right advice sometimes you should not tell them or force them to make a choice you should give those options to children and let them make a choice so that's why career counseling line is very very thin uh, you should you should become more of a you know uh, somebody who is a facilitator i would call that a uh, advisor who says do this right right definitely i think i should go for it can you tell me where i can register for this yeah this is available today on the fundaspring platform you can actually go a look at fundaspring platform we have this uh, certification uh, mentioned as pearson career counseling certification go look for it you'll find it oh thank you so much yeah all the best